Hey everyone, that average guy here, bringing you. It's starting to reach the point where I'm going to lose track of count of how many times I've tried to record this. Because I believe that the problem I'm facing is that I'm trying to process videos to go up on my laptop that's recording, that needs to record more stuff. So. If I stop talking mid sentence, it's because now I'm. I went from being paranoid to super paranoid to ultra paranoid now about whether or not this is actually recording. Once I finish talking with the damn Cheshire cat, I probably know this part forwards and backwards now thanks to recording this shit. This is the third attempt. Actually, no, this is the fourth attempt, technically. Who are you? Who indeed? Poor Alice, soon to lose her head if she's not guilty of a thing. Hey, if you know who the culprit is, tell us. The Cheshire Cat has all the answers but doesn't always tell. The answer, the culprit, the cat, all lie in darkness. Wait! They've already left the forest. I will tell which exit. There are four pieces of evidence in all. Three are essential to find. The fourth is tricky. Big reward. Find them all. Should we trust them? To trust or not to trust, I trust you'll decide. Okay, so I'm gonna make a long story very fucking short. First session, uh, capture stopped at around 23 minutes. And I didn't have time to record more because I want to record when I'm alone and stuff when my dad's around because I don't want to have to edit edit him out if I have to, if he pops in. And it would be kind of hard to explain what I'm doing. Not so much as hard, it's just that, you know, as Will, Myth, as Will, Myth, as Will Smith once sang, parents just don't understand. So the fact that I'm recording video games and talking over it to put it on YouTube for people to watch, my dad might not get. Attempt number two, which was... Earlier today, uh, let's see, which one was that? Oh, it's the one where I turn on the audio, hit the capture, talk and play the game for two hours, which is why when I go to a save point, you'll see that I am further leveled up and further in the game, like, I'm like level, what, 13 or so? I'm like level 13 or so, and at the... And in the accessory shop, when I should be here, but I go, and after I finish the session and wrap up, I look down, feeling good about myself, and I see that the audio was recording, but none of the game was captured. So, that meant, that, and, okay, here's a general rule of thumb, if you're gonna let's play something that has, like, save, like, a save state, make fucking sure like, I'll be sure, uh, wearing sure, roll on, while wearing sure deodorant, watching sure thing, which is pretty much all day sure, that, that you don't, that you have multiple saves for just in case some shit like that happens in your recording, that you don't have to restart the game all over again. And get up back to that point. Now, granted, I'm early on in the game. Like, let's see. Like, early on in the game, I'm like, what, first level in? If you don't count Traverse Town. So, it'd be pretty fucking beneficial to not... Where is it? So, it'd be pretty beneficial to have saves just in case you can go back to where you originally left off. So, I have to do that now. So, like, I'm all talked out at this point. Now, granted, I took, like, a three-hour break, to, you know, to eat and watch YouTube, so... If I'm gassy and, you know, kind of go... Or something... Please, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So now I have to keep glancing down, like, mid, like, battles to see if I'm still recording or not. I sound as defeated as I usually am in Ratchet and & Clank. And, you know, to, 
And I thought Kingdom Hearts was going to be like my safe haven, where there's not shit I have to worry about. Because of Ratchet and Clank, I get my ass like beat by the game, where it's constantly throwing me in situations where I get lost. Um, I keep failing at certain segments, so I got to cut them out. Like, a part's about to go up probably in the next couple of days where I fail royally trying to figure out where to go next. So I have to cut it out, then there's something else that happens that I have to cut out because I'm literal feces. Which one do you want? You want a nether. Okay. So stock, potion, exchange, Sora. Ether, exchange, Sora. There we go. I think all this does is give me a stupid item. This should help. Yep, I can't fix it. Ugh. Well, it looks like everything is still going now. Oh, and there was a third attempt that happened right before this one. This where. Help. It only recorded three seconds of gameplay, and then stopped. But I feel like I know the reason as to why all this shit is happening. It's solely because... No, get the thing. Take it. Smack it. Eat it. Because it's solely based on a... Uh, I don't even know what the fuck... I don't even know the point I'm even remotely trying to make at this point. Like, I'm at a loss for words. I mean, it's hard to find stuff to talk about when you're kind of all ready, when you're all talked out. Now I'm just collecting evidence so I can prove Alice's in innocence. But here's the funny goddamn thing, huh? Oh boy. Well. Right. Can't roll. Yet. Yeah, so I've been through this world. I completed the next world. And then it was right after that I wrapped up. But since I just played that world, it's pretty still, it's still pretty fucking fresh in my mind. So. It should take me no time to go where I need to go. Kill what I need to kill. And advance the plot. So you guys doing all right? You guys doing okay? You having a good day? You know, whenever you watch this. For me, it's Saturday when I'm recording this. So you having a good day? You doing good? Doing fine? I should really be doing taxes right now, but then again, ta taxes are like adult things to do. And I don't know if you get in trouble for not doing taxes. I know that the main reason people want to do taxes... That the main reason... Didn't even jump that time. That the main pe reason people do taxes, it's solely based on that, uh, it's solely based on that they want to get money back, uh, I think it's a tax refund or a tax rebate, whatever it's called. So that's why they want to do taxes, because if you put in the work to do taxes, then you can get, like, I don't know, depends on how much you made that year combined with so on and so forth, I guess. So I guess whenever my dad comes home, I can ask him for help in doing my taxes. Because I'm a 21-year-old man, yet I haven't really done taxes like a 21-year-old should do. Well, look what you found. Nice going. Now we can save Alice. Don't be so sure. She may be innocent, but what about you? What do you mean? I won't tell, but I'll give you something. Attain the power of ice. Learn magic spell. Blizzard. Okay, so there's that. I already fought the Heartless like a bajillion times, so it took me like three attempts. So that's good. Oh, back when he said that uh, get all to get a special reward, it's just that your chances of nailing... Like, you can go straight up to that... Um, that playing card and just say, hey, I got evidence, let's go to court. 
even if you find, found one piece, it's just that you have one out of five chances of having Goofy and Donald with you or not with you, and that's it. That's all it is. You either get support or you don't. Shocker. So I don't even know why I'm collecting this. You would think that after, you know, going through what I've been through... Come on, get on the damn mushroom. After going through what I've been through... Fuck me. Sora... Sora, please... Sora, please! Thank you. After going through what I've been through, that I would just try and beat these levels as fast as I possibly can, so I can get back to where I was. But, what are you gonna do? All right, let's present the evidence. Very well, Council, step up to the podium. Let me take a little sip here. Now, show me what you found. Yeah, you like all that evidence, don't you, bitch? Well, that's certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards bring forth mine. Hmm, checking all five would be a waste of time. All right then, choose the one you wish to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. What, after all the trouble of collecting it? You dare object, then you will lose your head. Now choose one box. Okay, so on the first session, I picked this one. Second session, picked this one. Third session, was gonna pick it, but guess what? If I pick this on the recording that fucking works, and it's the bullshit where I lose Donald and Goofy. I'm going to be mad as hell. Three in a row. What in the world was that? There's your evidence. Alice is innocent. Urgh. Silence! I am the law here. Article 29. Anyone who defies the queen is guilty. Spoiler alert. Guess what? I'm going to predict the future right now. Donald's going to say, that's crazy. That's crazy. Seize them at once. I could probably predict the future a lot in the next two hours, huh? Well, I'm 12 minutes in and it's still rolling. Cards, if they touch that tower, you lose your heads. Yeah. Don't really know much to talk about. I can complain like I did in the first couple sessions where I complained about Donald and his glass jaw. Yeah. Well, maybe I should... Maybe I should go to my happy place. You know, that, that's, good. That's, that's a good idea. Good idea, Chase. Good on you. Go to your happy place. Okay, my happy place is that I am on a... Fuck me. Oh, boy. If I had to get... If I got wrecked to some goddamn playing cards... Come on, destroy the goddamn wheel! Thank you. Now destroy the tower. And... Tower fall. Yay, HP. Hmm? Oh my god, she's missing. Sound the horn. Sound the alarms. She must have gotten kidnapped while we were fighting. You fools! Find the one who's behind us. I don't care how. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I have to go to the bizarre room and see the cat. No. Nope, I have to go to the forest because the cat's gonna do the whole rock thing. Then, that's going to free up an area that I have to go to. Rock thing. And there's the cat. Have you seen Alice? Alice, no. Shadows, yes. Where did they go? This way, that way. Does it matter? Left, right, up, down. All mixed up thanks to the shadows. Step, deep, uh, step deeper into the forest to the deserted garden. 
You might find some shadows in the upside down room. So the upside down room we go. So yeah, my happy place is me being on an island with random woman who crosses my mind, who fits all, like, the, who's like my perfect woman, I guess you could say. You know, I have a thing for brunettes, preferably shorter than me. You know, I'm not asking for super skinny, because super skinny is kind of gross, because you're dating a stick. Then, you know, I don't want, you know, I know there's nothing wrong with big girls, but, you know, hey, you know, you, uh, the best way to describe it, something to hold, you know what I'm saying? She doesn't have to be well endowed upstairs or downstairs, and by downstairs, I mean her Botox region. Yeah. There, preferably wears glasses and kind of has kind of a hipster style. But other than that, that's it. And we're just late. We're just sitting there eating plates of lasagna and watching a goofy movie. And we don't have to worry about work or money or nothing. Awesome. What's your happy places? I'm sure it's, for some people it's just as simple as going to Disney World or spending time with my family. If you're gonna have a happy place, happy place. If you're going to have a happy place, then you know, okay, camera. At least make it a good one, like really extravagant. Like if you love space, have your happy place on the fucking moon or whatever. I don't know, I don't know what floats your boat or your spaceship. Now, oh, this also got me thinking just now about like random bullshit that like you know stuff that go on your bucket list right like you know things you want to do before you die like oh I want to see the world I want to learn another language I want to uh, save a life or something like that one of the stupidest things that I want to do on my bucket list which is most likely never going to happen is there was an old Disney movie by the name of don't look under the bed in which there was this girl named Fran or Franny or whatever her name was or Francis I think her name was Francis but they call her Fran and she was being haunted by the boogeyman well haunted being tortured by the boogeyman and so the boogeyman was playing all these damn practical jokes around her place hometown. They're hiding somewhere on the Marble Rats out grave. Want to find the shadows? Try turning on the light. I gotta figure out what the fuck Mama Rats out grave means. That's the third time I've got to read that shit, and I still don't know what it means. So yeah. So, in fucking Don't Look Under the Bed, uh, there was the boogeyman egged the principal's car, uh, Put Christmas lights all over her house. Uh, planted flowers on her front lawn that read that her best friend had a crush on her. That her best friend had a crush on her brother. Which I guess is a big goddamn deal. Which it isn't. I mean, it really isn't. So you got a crush on her brother. Big deal. Get over it, kid. So. Try to get rid of Batman first. But the point I'm trying to get to is that one of the damn practical jokes looks so ridiculous, yet so goddamn fun, that I wanted to try it, hopefully, eventually. Come on, fat guy. Can the fat guy die, please? Keep in mind, this is probably the first time I'm gonna die here. Yep. Oh boy. You know, if this was Ratchet and Clank, he, uh, the game would have put me right the fuck back where the queen was. That's how bullshit them spawns are. Maybe I need to take out the flying enemies because they were shooting me while the fat man was killing me. And they go down in two hits, so I'm gonna just take down these 
And it doesn't help that Sora's Keyblade is like trash in the beginning. Is it just Fat Man? Now let's all focus the Fat Man. Okay, but the thing that was in Don't Look Under the Bed that I've always wanted to try 